Welcome back. I'm Roy with Rugged Badge Racing and Team Parts Badger. We have an update. If you watched the last video, it was our Sunday race. We blew the motor. So we did some testing. We know we lost compression in cylinder number two, and it was a bent belt. We've now pulled the motor, and we just got the motor apart yesterday, and we found some really interesting things. So let me dive in, show you what we're looking at. Let's start with the head. So on the head itself, um, this is cylinder number one, number two, number three, and number four. And number two probably shows this issue the best. We have these really weird, um, it almost looks like material deposits um, on the valves, on the cylinder head right here. Um, it definitely has something really interesting going on um, in the head area. And this is the one that had the bent valve. Now, um, cylinder one also has some of this issue. Cylinder number three seems to be the best. We have a little bit on cylinder four as well. You can see it on the valves here, not so much on the head casting itself. Now, what the heck is that? Let's move over to the block. So this is the block. Let me get some of these pistons, the top dead center for you. Um, so right away on cylinder number two, we have a cracked piston right in the valve area. So we have a crack here and a crack here. That material is gone. Maybe some of that material is deposited onto the head, but the question is why? Now it's not just this cylinder. Um, cylinder number three looks okay, but if you get really close, there's definitely um, some indents in the surface of that piston. Right here, there's some. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. Just this area here. Let me get the other two pistons up. Take a look at those. Now, piston number four, same issue is piston number one and you can get a side view the piston cracked in the ringland area on both intake valves cracked on both sides um and then we go to number one and number one has some really uh clear denting um right here there's dimples 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 here as well there's dimples all around this piston and those dimples um really seem to match what you see on the valves there um so some material bouncing around or something going on with that. That's really strange, uh, number one. So the question is, what caused it? So looking at coloration, I'm not an expert, but I think if we were running lean, these things would look a lot more white. We are getting this darker color um, and you'd get a really chalky white occurring um, if it was lean. Honestly, these don't look too bad in my opinion, but I'm not an Ecotech expert. I don't know how these engines run and how these pistons look. Um, so um, I saw this issue yesterday. I sent out a bunch of emails to a bunch of people, in particular Matt at Ecotech Miata, and I asked his opinion. Now, we have a number of things this could be. So the first thing someone mentioned was this is an oil issue. And even though the minimum oil pressure we're getting was 32 PSI, that's measured at the block and potentially there's not enough oil on the oil squirters. And what could happen is the ring could have a lot of friction on the cylinder wall, which would cause the piston to crack in that ringland area. So to investigate that, I'm gonna look at cylinder number two, right where the piston cracked and look at the cylinder wall. Um, and it's hard to see on video, but that wall looks great. You can't even see any marks at all. Cylinder number four, when I bring that down, you can see some very light streaking, um, but it's nothing you can feel, and it certainly doesn't look like anything that would have placed a significant load um, on that either. The wall actually seems in pretty good condition, so I don't know if that's the issue. Now, it, is it detonation, and what could cause detonation? So lean condition... Um, or it could be timing, or it could be fuel, um, and the fuel could be related to the octane. Now, if this is the Ecotech Miata tuned ECU, it's supposed to be tuned for 91. I believe we ran 93. Um, so we really shouldn't be having an issue from that perspective. Um, maybe the ECU is tuned for race fuel. Maybe there's a different tune and we just didn't know. And if it was tuned for race fuel, maybe we've been getting detonation this entire time. But if that was happening, we have five hours on this motor, I would think we would have a lot more damage than what you're seeing there. I mean, obviously, um, two sets of cracked pistons, that's damage, but five hours, I think these things would look really beat up. Now, if you remember the, the motor, I thought it was down on power. Um, right from the get-go, I wasn't happy with the power, um, and it got even worse on Sunday. Maybe 
That's the detonation I was feeling. At the same time, oil pressure had really weird behavior. And I know when you have detonation, it affects how the oil pressure appears on the gauge. Because I think it actually affects what's going on in the engine because it's like crushing the bearings. But how could it last five hours? That's a conundrum. So let's think about fuel. Um, let's say this was running lean. Maybe this coloration is running lean. So if that's the issue, um, we were having that fuel cut. When we were about half a tank in one corner, we were getting fuel cut. Um, and the fuel cut, oil pressure, I'm sorry, fuel pressure would drop all the way down. We have no fuel going in. We would definitely have a lean condition. And maybe that lean condition, even over a shorter period of time, maybe that was putting too much heat into the pistons. And that's what Matt at Ecotech Miata said. Maybe this is heat related from that lean condition on the fuel cut. And we have to fix that issue. Maybe it's injector related. Maybe the injectors just aren't flowing properly, or maybe it's something else entirely. So that's where I want your help. Now, he had a chance to look at the motor. I'd really like to know what you guys think um, because we have two more motors here. One is the MWR Motor Works, which we're trying to get into a good enough condition we can run it. We also have an eBay motor, which has some leak down issues. But if I put either of these motors in the car, they could still just pop right again. So let me know what you think. Let me know what the issue is. Uh, or what you think the issue is. Hopefully we can get this thing solved so we can get another motor back in the car.